Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set up your bands when you're doing shoulder external and internal rotation when you have shoulder impingement or a loss of range in the shoulder. Now, this might be if you've had shoulder surgery or you've had like an impingement type problem, maybe an old rotator cuff injury or a bursitis, where you've lost perhaps, say, some of the range. You haven't got full abduction to be able to sit in a position where you can do external rotation, internal rotation, or even if, say, you're down at 45 degrees like this, and when you pull back, there's a clicking or a pain going on in the shoulder. What you need is some bands on the arm to try and change what's happening in the shoulder joint so you can clear some of that and get some more range so then you can get the strengthening. Now, this is sort of after low level internal external rotation work, maybe down at zero degrees, that sort of thing. This is when you're going venturing upwards, but you're starting to run into problems because you've got that shoulder problem. Now, it could be that you've got like an old supraspinatus tear, where if that's the case, you'll probably struggle with abduction and get a bit of impingement. So with the power bands that you need, you need something like, at least something like a green monodate, which is about an inch thick, or a little bit more, which is this one here, this blue one. Depends on how strong you are, how big you are as well. Um, I wouldn't go any skinnier than that. This one is to go around the arm while you use something like this band, which is your normal band you're gonna use for internal and external rotation, the actual strengthening part, okay? This doesn't actually have to be too heavy, and to be honest, you probably won't be going heavy at this stage anyway because you're at that level where you're trying to get things stronger. You're not at that high level yet. So don't make the mistake of making that too heavy, right? The setup, is what I'm going to go through because it is hard and you'll need something to try and use in the gym is obviously ideal at home you might be able to use things like door frame door handles hooks that sort of thing garages let's start off with internal rotation because that's the easiest setup for you and then we'll go into external so for internal the band that is your power band that's going to go around your shoulder and your theraband which is what you're going to use for your movement go to the same anchor point just about, okay, so that's the easy part. So if you put your power band like that, then put your fair band around pretty much the same spot, okay? This one, if I'm gonna be on left shoulder, this one is going on my shoulder first, okay? Now, I'll show you this up in a minute, but don't make the mistake of that one being up on the shoulder, okay? It needs to be off the acromion. So if you know your anatomy where your acromion is, it needs to be off that, because if it's on the acromion, it's only gonna pull on the shoulder blade. If it's off the acromion, it's gonna pull on the humerus, which is exactly what I want. Now, if you notice, it's on a downward angle, because I'm trying to aim for almost a, a traction down or compression down on the humerus and backwards. So I'm going sort of postro inferior, if you like. I need to step forward enough that I've got some tension on there. So it's really sort of trying to pull me down and back. I'm coming forward with my chest like that. So I'm not sort of coming in too much. I'm coming forward with my chest. Then I've got a downward angle like that. Then this one is what I'm gonna use for my strengthening of my internal rotation. So you've got to, this is the hard part. You have gotta hold yourself there in that position. It takes a bit of core work. But then I can work on, okay, get my arm in the right position. Maybe I wanna be in 45 degrees and work on that movement there. It also allows you to work on range. So if you're having problems with range of this, going backwards, you can put your band on this position to allow you to get a more range into it, in the external, if you like, and then putting forward. Now you may find that that's pretty easy as far as this tension. Of course, what you can do, wind it up, right? Make it a heavier band and then you'll get more in here, okay? So the more you use, you can get more strengthening and the more tension. Don't forget though, this band is acting like a sort of almost a compression cuff around that, okay? So I'm getting strengthened very locally around here because I have to sort of rotate through that movement as well. So that adds to a little bit of sort of rotating our strengthening on top of this, which is a nice little add-on. Um, but that one should hopefully give you that sort of, just a bit of a, a bit of a traction, a bit of a glide like that to help you with your rotation movement to stop any impingement issues going on that you might have. And whether that's due to weakness or inflammation or bursa or anything like that. Regardless, these things do help out. So that's your internal. So the external is a little bit harder because what you're gonna to have to do is have the same band as you had, but this band is gonna to have to be in front of you. So you need another anchor point. So what I suggest to you is thinking like, okay, this is gonna be a bit longer as far as 
from start to finish. I would put, a, put this band, we're going to put it back on this one and back here to give me a bit of space. Okay, so it goes from here. Then I need an anchor point in the front. What I'm going to use, something that's not going to move. Okay, something sort of solid. So I can just use this bike if you like. Okay, so I can hook it around there. That's going to give me my external range. Okay, so go from there. All right. Then I've got this band behind me. Okay, like I said, pretty hard setup, but geez, if you can get it going, works really well for you. So I come forward into here, there's my setup. You just gotta make sure this is the right distance away. You think, okay, that's too close. Put it back a little bit. Okay, here I've got it. You can always shorten the band up, but don't make the mistake of making the band too short because then you don't have much expansion on the band. You can always increase the level of the band or you can have two bands if you like. So here's that position we had before. Okay, make sure you're not sort of facing it, face forward. The arm, just another note, your elbow can be sort of slightly forward with this, okay? You don't, make sure you don't have it all the way back because that band's gonna slip anyway, but you can have your arm slightly forward so the band stays in the right position, all right? But also, it's actually not quite nice having a little bit forward from the actual shoulder angle that way, okay? Because it makes it more of an escapion plane. That's down and back, okay? Posture, inferior, all that. Here's your band in front, okay? So I'm in this position and then I'm working on going backwards that way. All right. So again, you might think, oh, this is pretty light. It's actually quite heavy once you get into this position. You make, don't make the mistake of making too hard a band because you've got some resistance here. All right. And again, this position here should find, depends on whether you need to be 45, up at 60, around whatever your physio or your program says, keeping in that position and then pulling backwards and trying to aim for as much range as you possibly can. All right. You're not after as much strength as you possibly can, you're after as much range as you possibly can, and then once you've got your range, then you can work on the strength. So try those two. If you're struggling with your internal and external rotation where it's catching, or you're getting pain through the range or the end of the range, give that a shot to see if that can get you through that step so you can get up to a higher range and more strengthening and more functional stuff for overhead. Hopefully that helps. See you next time.